and Okay. Where, who, you, in order to get on the ballot, you're correct, you need 15,000 signatures, probably more because you, for padding, because of the election. We plan on election. coming in with 50,000. Okay, that's a lot of signatures. You have to actually get... And we got the six from 16 different congressional that's what districts I was just having 100 say. or more. That where, you, where, right. where is the operation well, that you're going to make that there's happen? 15. There are 15 congressional districts in New York City. Well, what about upstate? And there's some... Right, we'll take, we got Rochester and Buffalo and Syracuse, we know people upstate, and I want to remind you, I've done this already. When we ran Mary France Daniels Ooh, for know. governor under the Unity Party, we got on the ballot and she got 10,000 votes. We've done it already. We've had the Freedom Party, we've done it. We've got the signatures on a technicality, they got knocked off the ballot. So we've done this before, we're very familiar with the petitioning process. We believe that this is the best time for us to show the Democratic Party, we're not playing with you anymore. We will not be taken for granted, we will not be disrespected, and we're going to have an independent, black-led party so we can engage and leverage politics power politics and give our people a choice rather than being upset with the white-led Democratic Party, all white ticket, don't stay home, vote for your dignity, okay. vote for your have self-respect. You, have you spoken to Andrew Cuomo yet? Have you had any conversations with him at all? what? He spoke to me already. There's nothing to say to Andrew Cuomo. He already spoke to me. He told me that he could care less about what I think. He told me and other blacks that he is not choosing any black or Latino, whether we like it or not. He already told me that he's more comfortable with the all-white slate. So there's nothing for me to say to Andrew Cuomo. I'm sure there'll be the other black leaders that'll now talk to him about diversity after the fact. They'll talk about maybe the top staff position on his staff, maybe some commissioners. Let them go ahead and do that, and I hope they get everything that they can. Some will even cut their little deals. But the bottom line, we are not going to allow this state to have a gubernatorial election where the state party structure looks similar to the state structure of Mississippi in 1950, we will not allow them to do that and say blacks have no options. Well, if you don't vote for Cuomo, what do you want? Lazio? He's worse. Republicans, Democratic, this two-party system that they play games with us, take our votes for. Granted, those days are over in New York State. So a vote for Charles Barron is a vote for self-determination. Councilman, some people would say that what, a lot of what you're using right here is very strong language that uh, some people would actually accuse you of reverse racism. I mean, you are a very controversial guy. Why not actually run somebody, perhaps, with all due respect, who might be a little mm, less controversial and more palatable, who, with a better opportunity to get 50,000 people on the line? Well, you know, they said the same thing when I ran against Ed Towns. They said, I'm too controversial. Whites won't vote for you. That why not run somebody else who has a chance for beating? Well, I got 15,000 votes to his 19,000, 38% to his 46%. I had $135,000. He had 1.1 million, 24-year incumbent. There yep. were certain districts, like the 57th district, that is predominantly middle class, black, and white. I won. So... Who's, everybody's controversial. It's interesting. You know what controversy means, Liz? It means some people disagree with you. I don't know a leader out here who's not controversial. That's true. What they don't like is that I'm outspoken, unafraid, my spine is straight, I'm unbossed, unbought, and will speak out for what I think is right. And there's a lot of people in this state that agree with me that the millionaires need to be taxed well, and not wait a shutting minute. down we, daycare councilman, centers. We, a lot of people agree with that. Councilman, I, unfortunately, I have to yes. cut you off because I know I know you could go on for a long time along this particular vein. I, I suspect we'll probably be seeing more from you. I want to thank you very much for your time, and uh, we will see. Well, thank you we very much. We'll see how Liz. you do with your uh, with your third party petition. I'm going to surprise you and others. We're going to announce on the sixth, seventeenth, Thursday, twelve noon, seventeenth. We'll be announcing uh, the official announcement. Will take place then in Brooklyn, New York. We're going to have huge meetings on the 30th. We're going to have a statewide meeting, and we're going to introduce our slate. It is time for us to vote for our dignity and self-respect and form a new party. Well, we will, we will see you then. Thank you very much, Councilman Barron. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate it.